Hello and welcome to another episode of Tom Plays. And this time we're playing Dick Tracy for the Sega Master System, of course. Just checking uh, everything's coming out okay there on the live stream. So this is a another childhood favourite of mine. We're going to play it on. What difficulty should we play it on? Let's play it on easy because it's a relatively uh, hard game. Not as hard as the uh, Mega Drive version, mind you. What always struck me about this game is uh, how... Everyone's faceless, kind of like a Dick Tracy bad guy, you know, it's like No-Face Man. I think there is a, a character called No-Face, isn't there? But uh, I think the Dick Tracy film with Warren Beatty was really good. Um, I, I enjoy watching it, still, to this day. And I enjoyed playing this game a lot as a kid. Uh, it was uh, one of my f one of my first Smash System games, I would say. And I love the idea of holding down the button to fire the machine gun into the background. I thought that was really unique at the time, even. So it's sort of like, I played this before Shinobi, and there's obviously some similarities between this and Shinobi. For example, the boxes and the sort of planning your strategy based on... <laughs> Hiding and jumping over boxes. There we go. So that's stage one done. As a kid, I don't know how far I got with this. I don't think... Well, I know I never finished it. I can't remember exactly how far I got with it, but... If I recall, uh, in the Mega Drive version, this second level is super difficult. You don't have a gun in this, so all the combat's got to be done close quarters. And you say we have these um, projectiles as well. I think it's the only time I can recall in the game where you don't have a weapon. Which is interesting choice for the second level to take away the thing you've just learnt for the first weapon. And then put you at a real disadvantage right at the very beginning of the game. But these games weren't that long, so... Comparatively, this is, I guess you could argue, further into the game than it would be in a longer game, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I'm blabbering now. I don't think we're going to get past this this time, looking at my health up there. But we'll see. I don't think it's particularly uh, long level, this one. Two health. Maybe. Thing is, the way their, their projectiles work, they can't uh, hurt you if you're close enough to them. Phew, there we go. Would have been embarrassing if I got stuck on the second level there. Okay. So this is level with a boss fight at the end and introduces this new enemy here who's a bit faster and these guys are running around now which uh, is a little different. You also get a no damage bonus. If you say damage the windows and stuff in the background you'll get uh, penalised. Uh, so if you don't shoot them then uh, that's better for your score. Here's the boss. And he'll run around and be a pain, but just do this. And you'll beat him. I think that might have been Pruneface, I'm not sure. I can't remember how important a villain Pruneface was in the film, but... It's all in the instruction manual, which we've got somewhere. Now here you have to pick which one you should shoot, and don't shoot the good guys. So shoot both these by pressing both the uh, two buttons on the mass system controller. It's obvious which one's the villains because it's the ones with guns, like flat top there. Uh, 
Oh, he's not got a gun, but he's a bad guy. The ones in hats, shall we say. In suits. The ones that look like bad guys. Even though that guy with the glasses looks like Elvis Costello. Uh, okay, so that's good, I guess. 20 bad guys? Hit 20 bad guys. Cool. Okay. So do I get credits for that? Do, do, do. I think as a kid, if I even got to this stage, I thought I was doing well. There's a cool stage coming up uh, with a police car, uh, which is a little bit different. So I see no reason why we can't get up to that. And if I recall, there's like um, a sewer level as well. Oh, being stabbed. Ducking is always very important in these type of games. Because usually enemies can't get you if you're ducking. Like James Bond the Duel on the Mass System eh? and the Mega Drive. Better get that guy in the background. Okay, not too bad. This might be the car stage now. Okay. I think, yeah, you can shoot behind you and in front of you and across. I really like the music in this stage. Luckily you don't have bullets, which would be frustrating. get you even if you're ducking. So I feel like I couldn't get to do this stream on, on Saturday. I had a bit of a busy day. So making up for it now. And I'm Bank Card Day Monday uh, here in the UK. Uh, just getting this... Uh, streaming today so uh, no apologies for not streaming when I usually stream so I know that's the key to streaming but I am NOT a live streamer I just you know try and weekly play one game <laughs> uh, and I think these math system games have been going down pretty well recently you know they're not incredibly long games I mean if I have some of the damage in the background. If I can, I'll try and show you the full game, but some of these games, you know, they're quite tough. They're, because they're short, they are tough. So, also, I'm, I'm not like a professional gamer. I really enjoy video games, but I don't invest too much time into them. Oh, I wonder if we can just... Oh gosh, he's harder. Phew, we got him. It's okay, bonus stage. I think I'd say we're doing quite well here. This bonus stage is actually pretty straightforward. I like this music as well. Overall, I really like this soundtrack, actually. It's almost like a rhythm game. Okay. 
I don't know how many they're meant to be there, but I think we did pretty well. Lips and lip man they sent the brow after the nitro. Lips is across town. It's only stage three. I feel like we've done more stages. I guess you could argue this game is a little uh, samey, perhaps. Because other than that second level where you didn't have a gun. The rest of it is pretty similar. And the backgrounds are also very similar too. Definitely been past this stage, I would say. Oh, we got all the enemies now. Oh no! We got a boss, I wonder. Kind of like shooting them before they hit the ground. Knife guys. Not nice guys, knife guys. Okay, that was the stage, right. Oh, another car one. Oh, got me. You just have to be quick to get them as soon as they come on screen. look at the back of the box and see how many stages there are. So this is stage three, act two, I guess. Don't you miss that about video games, having the uh, stages, stage numbers and acts in them. Like a play. Those guys aren't... Oh, I can say those guys aren't tough. You didn't get me. Let's check something. I return. Just with the uh, case for the game. So, Dick Tracy. Uh, there's six rounds, it says on the back of the case. Um, but that's the... Uh, that's the case for Dick Tracy for the math system. And we've got six rounds to contend with, so we're on act three of level of round three, level three. I'm pretty sure you fight flat top at the end of this one. And then you're off into the sewers, I think. And if I do recall, this one's where things start to get faster. Run away. Oh. Here we go. No, it's this is no face, perhaps. How are you gonna do that? When you've lost no ah oh, okay. You probably have to die at that point. Okay, you also have to dodge. There's no way you can just sit there and... Oh, it's cool that you get to... Uh... Gosh, it's hard. He 
he's just throwing them directly. How are you meant to? How were you meant to do that? That's almost impossible. I've got 11 credits, so... I think all you've got to do is focus on him. Yeah. What? <sighs> it is possible. I don't find he's very responsive at ducking sometimes. Yeah, this is real tough. Let's hope we can get past this bit. I swear I've done it before. Oh, come on. Right, perhaps I need to jump that last one. Oh, it's so close. It's uh, suddenly this massive difficulty spike. I think it's just perseverance here. Remember, this is uneasy. Yeah. You can't really get distracted. I think maybe jump over the bullets of the guys at the bottom. But they keep they keep shooting. And you, and you can't... Yeah. Wow, way to ruin a game, eh? <laughs> Find this with older games, you know. There's so much promise, and then they just do something really stupid like this. And they'll ruin it. They'll just ruin the whole game and stop me from getting any further. Am I missing something here? I'm going to consult the instruction manual here and find out if perhaps I'm missing something because this doesn't seem right to me. Mm. So it's stage three. Lips Manlis fixes a Molotov cocktail with your name on it. Yeah, that's right. Usually in these books there's like uh, tips on the back. Lips and lips. An oyster slurping slob. You had the club roots in his pocket until he started serving Molotov cocktails. Doesn't tell you how to beat him. Um, so this particular manual doesn't have tips in it. Just wonder if there's anything. Rip through six to three rounds each. Hmm. Any sort of uh, controls I'm missing? Special moves? One and two to call reinforcements. Tracy's on his own. Right, okay. Well, you think this would be the point where you'd want some reinforcements? Okay, I just got lucky then. I felt I just got lucky. Now we'll try and get some more uh, continues. Thank you. 
I think flat top was always my favourite because you look the most, well, I would say you look the most weird, but I don't know, something appealing about that character. Oops, I had a good guy. Okay. Stage four. Oh gosh. This guy just won't stop jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we're not doing that well, are we, this time? Oh, the window's there we can damage. I don't want to have to do this whole stage over and over again, but it's not looking good, is it? Wow, he can, they can duck and fire. They're deadly. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll try that again. doing a little better this time. Oh, come on. I have got the chat up if anyone who joins wants to chat, although sometimes it's quite difficult when you're in the heat of the moment. But we are doing better this time. Oh, no. It's getting quite tricky now. Oh, you got me. Hard level this. Ah, oh, there's no way. I have got my reinforcements, but I do think I can take them. Should have enough health to get through this. We'll see how we go. Third time lucky, eh? Quite a lot more enemies here. It's like, oh, cool reinforcements. Don't know how that helps. They do take a while to get here, don't they? Unless they're like taking out some of the enemies across the road normally. There's not so many of them. Keep walking, you seem to lose some of the ones on the sides. Ah, oh, yes, we got up too quick. This is what a detective does, he, he walks down the street gunning down criminals. Oh, that was the end of the stage as well, wasn't it? 
We've got eight more credits to see how far we can get on. These jumpy guys are wild, aren't they? Look at them. Ooh. We're doing a little better this time, I'd say. Not lost as much health. We haven't even called for... Reinforcements. I think crickets just keep moving right. Stay still and more enemies seem to appear. Oh! I guess there could be a bit more variety in the music as well in this game. So the environments and the music. Oh, here you go. Here's a different looking stage, at least. We've heard this music before, but this is what I was thinking of when I mentioned the sewer area earlier. Oh. What happened there? That's an awkward jump, isn't it? Oh! That... It's no good. So what is the point of going up here, anyway? Well, I, I do not see the point in going up that part of the level. Alright, I don't think I'm going to make it through here, am I? Oh, that was surprising. Very short level, that one. This must be flat top, then. I definitely got up to this as a kid. Well, at least we know now if we get to the boss, we can restart from the boss. Oh, no. No, it's not flat top, it's prune face. So this is going to be a similar situation to uh, before, I think. We just have to lay into him. No. <sighs> Try again. If we can stay ducked. Uh. Should we try calling for reinforcements this time? No. One, yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem right, does it? This, uh, the difficulty here, because there's not anything else I can really do here. And he's got way more health. Oh, phew. <laughs> those those bosses are like 
to super difficult. Okay, this is a bit of fun. Bonus stage. Don't kill the good guys. Oh, why well, did that then? There you go. Oh. Takes me a second to, to register who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. So the good guys are wearing badges, I think. Okay, one credit. Mm. Not the best. Right. Another similar looking level. Okay, so I like the core gameplay of this game, but it is a little bit repetitive, isn't it? <laughs> as a kid, I never really thought of it as being repetitive, but I guess I've played a lot more video games now than I had when I was little. I think it was the only game I had where you could probably shoot a gun, and that was probably quite uh, entertaining for me at the age I was playing this at. There won't be a boss here, so this should be, as long as it's not a super long level, relatively easy to get through. Another warehouse, another street, all in a day's work for Dick Tracy. This one's pretty easy, this stage. Oh, now they started throwing things at me. There you go, not a tricky one, that one. Bet there'll be another car stage next. Yeah. Scared him away there. These ones aren't particularly difficult. I can move the car back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get them straight away, though, they're going to hit you. Oh, yeah. Making silly errors now. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get very far in the Mega Drive version of this game. Otherwise, I'll be able to compare the two a little bit better. I'm pretty sure you do this in the Mega Drive version. Now. Ah. I'll try it again. Ah, oh, sometimes it's like, how were you meant to dodge those bullets? This game does expect you to get shot, <laughs> doesn't it? Because they're Oh, you can jump. Okay. Right, there you go. There's where I'm going wrong. Oh. <laughs> right. Six more continues. So, that's good. Twist it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so jump. Yeah, this, these have got a bit harder now. Okay. Oh, it's dodging with the jump. Come on, end the stage. <sighs> oh dear. Oh, hiya, Neil. Thanks for checking out the, the stream. 
Yeah, it's sort of like Rolling Thunder. Yes, I have played that. Um, they remind me of um, Shinobi. Uh, this was also developed by Sega. Perhaps even the same uh, team that made Shinobi. I don't know. It's like Shinobi as uh, a detective with a gun. Although Shinobi had a gun, didn't he? Oh, yeah, tough. You've really got to concentrate. Oh, maybe it's enough just to dodge those bullets sometimes. I hope this level's on a timer, it's not like shoot so many um, enemies to advance. If it's on a timer then we'll, we'll eventually get to the end of this level. Mm. Okay, Tracy's on his own. Not gonna get any help. Oh, well, we're going to see how long we can uh, keep going on this. Five continues. If anybody has any great strategies for Dick Tracy on the mass system, let me know. Stage five, act two. We're going to come unstuck on act three because that's going to be the boss. So, and that will be stupidly difficult again. But it is interesting how when I've come back to these math system games, now I'm older, I am getting further. <laughs> so it goes all those years of playing video games have paid off and I have uh, got a little bit better. Okay. I'm oh, doing alright now. Gotta relax. I think we should get past this stage. They sort of... They do fire constantly, don't they? There's not like a gap where they break to give you a chance to shoot them. These cars remind me of the ones you get inside uh, Christmas crackers. Christmas cracker car chase is what this stage would be called. Lost a bit of health there. Oh no, no, oh, you, once you get your timing wrong, then those sections are very difficult. Maybe it's just like fire, then jump, fire, and then jump. It's definitely got a, you know, a difficulty curve. This is the hardest uh, driving section. So far. Oh yeah, yeah, he just fights constantly. So there are a lot of unfair things about this game. And you know, bear in mind again this is on easy. You don't get this many continues on the other difficulty levels. And when you think about these games were designed for children. You start to have something, uh, there's something wrong here. Nah, that's not happening. 
Well, this may very be very well be as far as we're going to get with Dick Tracy today. Uh, but I certainly will keep playing until I run out of continues, because you never know. Patience, perseverance, we might just get there. I keep glancing up at that timer and trying to work out how long the stage is. If that counts down to z that has to count down to zero before the stage will end, then uh, this is particularly tricky. Oh, just got me in the foot then. Oh, no, 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 no. Got one health. Yeah, if you, if you have too far to that side of the screen, then it's going to be more difficult for you to dodge. Of course. Well, this has been the uh, hardest bit so far. I see you've written a comment, Neil. Uh, this seems to be a stage where you need to memorise the enemy ways or at least be preemptive in laying down fire before they appear on screen. Uh, I've never been any good at that. <laughs> I always feel like it's random, though. But, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it's not. Maybe there is a defined pattern to this, which... I don't like that kind of thing. Yeah, I just don't care enough to <laughs> memorize a pattern. But it might be the only way I uh, can get through this. At least the music's good. You can't actually shoot him till he's on fully on screen. Yeah. I think it's just a case of being good at dodging those uh, bullets and leaving yourself enough uh, space. Sometimes you don't even get to shoot them. There you go. Yeah, it's it's just getting good at this bit. Dodging the bullets. Oh. Oh. I just feel that sometimes he's not permanently dodged till the end. What a good idea, Neil. Just shoot these ones. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the, the key. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I'll try it. But then you get a situation where you've got a guy on the other side. Oh. See, when you need the, the backup, they never come. Well, we've nearly run out of credits. The nightmare's nearly over. Oh, fuck. It's kind of instinct is to shoot them. <laughs> oh, there's a dodgy sprite there. You 
You can move the car, so that, that does help with these dodging the bullets. Well, why does he keep firing? How many bullets was he firing then compared to all the others? Yeah, then you have the other guy across the road shooting you up. End of stage. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Three, four of the way through. Okay, well, we got through it, at least. There seem to be different ways of doing it, then, at least. Oh, who's these? Oh, there's a paper boy. What was that? He wasn't a bad guy. He's given me something. Well, thanks for sticking with us if you did uh, stick with through that uh, painful section of the game. He can't get me with his knife while I'm ducking, which is helpful. Okay, boss. Okay, uh, it's another one of them bosses again. We just have to do this. He's not hitting me. What happened there then? He wasn't hitting me. Was I shooting all these projectiles or something? Oops. Oh. It's getting faster. Oh, one credit. Okay. Big boy ran to the sewer. Oh no, it's another one of those stages where you haven't got a bloody gun. Uh, so, excuse my language. This will be fun. <laughs> okay, two more credits. We're on the final stage of the game, Act 1. There's been a trend in these episodes of Tom Plays where I've managed to get to the very end of games but not managed to complete them. I actually um, managed to get to the last level of uh, Wonderboy Monsterland the other day. Not Obviously not on the stream, 
but the problem with that last level is it's a maze and like in Mario where you get those sort of mazes where you have a choice of paths and if you take the wrong path you just go around in circles and it's a fairly um, lengthy maze at the end of that game and I didn't finish it because of that. Oh wait here. Uh, if they stop coming or are they going to keep coming? Ah, oh, balls. That's frustrating. I guess you have to bear in mind that this is the first time I've actually got this far in the game, so I'm not incredibly familiar with uh, these levels. This level, at least. Uh, oh! Right, one more credit to see if we can uh, get past this uh, sewer level. Well, they decide to take away your weapon again, which only happens at one other time in the game on the second level. Luckily, they don't really uh, cotton on to the th idea of ducking these enemies, so that makes things a little bit easier for me. So are they going to jump into me? Yeah, what I was trying to do then was jump backwards, but I would say the controls aren't the tightest on this game. Uh, not terrible by any means, but um, they could do just a little bit of refinement to make sure sections like this jumpy bit here aren't too difficult. Oh. <sighs> oh, now, now they've all decided to duck. You can't predict this game. Okay, that's it. Well, I think we can do without hearing this music over and over again now. And that's uneasy. Um, normally get... So... Just get less credits on difficulty levels, but I guess the um, they can steal the music. Where's my favourite? Did it? This one. That's that's a banger. That. I've not heard this before. Bone state. Okay, well, <laughs> what's left for me to say? Thanks so much for taking time to watch the stream. Um, hopefully, maybe it's introduced to a game you might like to play, or alternatively, you may have seen me play that and decided I'm never going to play Dick Trace on my system. So, one of the two. I hope I've helped in some way. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And until see you again for this episode of Tom Plays, it's goodbye and game on. <laughs>